I went to do my nails and I did like bubble bath with a holographic powder on top. Our gender reveal is tomorrow. I'm just like getting things ready. I'm gonna go to the grocery store now. I just got a bunch of flowers. Well, not really flowers, like they're mostly leaves. <laughs> um, I got some eucalyptus and a bunch of stems and stuff. And now I'm gonna go to the grocery store because I wanna do like a grazing table, which is basically just like a charcuterie board, but on a table. So I'm gonna go get some cheeses and some meats and I want to do a portion of it desserts as well mostly like little appetizers and stuff I'll see what I find at the grocery store it's funny because I'm only doing something small for the gender reveal but nothing that I've purchased is blue and pink <laughs> like only the little pins that people put on that say teen girl or teen boy but everything else is basically just green or white I just can't bring myself to buy anything blue and pink I don't like those two colors so we'll see what I come up with. Roger and I know the gender already. We've known for a long time, but our family, like no one else knows besides us. I can't believe we've kept this secret for such a long time, but yeah, no one knows besides us. So our family's gonna find out tomorrow. I'm so excited for everyone to finally know. So yeah, I got some eucalyptus, some of this. I don't know what the name of this is, but I like it. It's nice and fluffy. Some baby's breath and some of these and this is pretty much all i'm gonna be decorating with i'm mostly gonna use the eucalyptus for the grazing table and yeah i'll just sprinkle them around i'm not doing too much decoration since it's like a very small thing i have all of this here and i can't open it because it's for tomorrow actually nice out and this never happens so I'm just gonna enjoy it until the mosquitoes come and then I have to go inside so we're having a boy and we're so excited and it's actually funny because I for as long as I could remember have always wanted a boy first and then a girl obviously if I have all boys I'll be happy even if I would have had all girls I would have been happy but ever since I was little like I always said oh I want a boy first and then a girl I don't know I just like the dynamic so even though I know I would have probably adapted to being a girl mom I really picture myself as a boy mom I don't know why but I'm just so excited to start the sneaker collection already it's not even funny <laughs> like but again I don't care like gender was never really like everybody always asked me oh like what do you want what do you feel like it is and I'm like I really don't 
care like i don't know how to explain it so yeah i didn't really have a preference roger didn't really have a preference but we were kind of like tricked into gravitating towards girl simply because in our first ultrasound i remember at like eight weeks our ultrasound tech which they're not supposed to do this they're, they're supposed to at least ask you if you want to know the gender they didn't ask us she didn't ask us she just told us <laughs> She was very nice, by the way. I didn't care. I really don't care. But if it would have been somebody who would have cared about not knowing the gender, then that would have been a problem. But I really didn't care. And she told us, she's like, 100%, this is a girl. We measured the heartbeat, everything. She like, she like assured us. And I even told my mom, you know, the ultrasound tech literally told us she's almost 100% sure it's a girl. And this is like all she does all day, you know, so I trusted her. But then when we did the blood work, it came back boy. So I was never really, like, I never had a preference. But we were kind of, like, imagining already having a girl since she did tell us that. So then when we found out we were having a boy, we just had to, like, readjust. Which is fine. But yeah, I'm just, I'm excited regardless. So we have to finish up his little closet and I can start buying little things. Here and there i wish i would have recorded our reaction when we found out the gender i was so excited that i couldn't like pick up another camera to record myself i was on the phone with my doctor because she called us to tell us the gender and i was planning on having her like write it on an envelope so that we can open it on camera we could get our reactions and stuff you know regular like youtuber stuff and when she when she asked me on the phone if i wanted to know the gender like i just couldn't wait you know it's just something that takes over and I couldn't like grab a camera because I was on my phone so I couldn't grab another camera and record our reactions or anything but we were so excited Roger was like screaming but I feel like we would have had the same reaction if it would have been a girl so I don't know like <laughs> worst youtuber ever when it comes to like recording things at least for this like you just get so caught in the moment and excited and I kind of like the fact that that moment was just between us you know I wish I would have recorded it just like to have that memory but it's, it's something that you're not gonna forget regardless so there are certain things that you know you don't have to put everything online but yeah i'm gonna go inside because the mosquitoes have found me so yeah i think i'm gonna end the vlog here and stay tuned for my next video i'm pretty sure that one's gonna be a collection of everything that i'm loving lately which is a huge list that i accumulated because i waited too long to film it but yes excited to share all right all right the mosquitoes i gotta go